Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium WebDriver, I am going to practically demonstrate how to handle Ajax calls in Selenium. So let's get started. First of all, let's understand what exactly are these Ajax calls. So let me read this statement and later explain what exactly it means. Web pages make Ajax calls to retrieve small amount of data from the server without the need for reloading the page. What does this statement mean? Let me explain in a practical way. I'll open this browser, open this any of the application URL, say omer.blogspot.com. And here, you see, there will be some options coming without the need for reloading the page. Okay. On this application, I'll be performing some activities where some options, new options will be the new options which are currently not on the page will be coming now. After I perform this action, some new options will come which are not there earlier on this page. And that too, without the need for reloading the page, they will come. Okay. For example, if I click on this drop down button, if I click on this drop down button, these three options are coming. But is the page reloading to get these three options on the uh, to be displayed on the page? No, the page is not reloading. Similarly, if I click on this button, the alert is coming. Is the page reloading? Just observe that if I click on this button, is the page reloading to display this alert on the page? To display this new item on this page, the page is not getting reloaded. You see, if I click on this button, the prompt is coming without the need for page reloading, without the need for page reloading and then displaying a new element on the page. Okay, these elements are coming, these options are coming. You see, these options are coming without the need for loading the page. All these are like related to JavaScript, guys. Okay, okay, all these are related to JavaScript kind of stuff JavaScript alert, JavaScript prompt, JavaScript confirmation dialog, or this kind of uh, options which are coming when I click on the button after a while, right? Uh, these options all are coming with uh, without the need for the page to be get loaded. Let's read this statement again. Web pages make Ajax calls. That means here in this example, when I click on this button, an Ajax call is being made to the server. To retrieve this small information from the server, we don't have to reload the page. Okay. To load this entire elements on this page, initially when I enter this application URL, the, the page is loading to get all these elements that go from the server. Lot of information to get from the server, the page is loading. But for this small information, for this small alert to be displayed on the page, do we have to load the page? No, right? Then how to get that information from the server without the page getting loaded, we are able to get the information from the server, the small kind of information from the server we are getting without the need for loading the page. That is possible with the help of Ajax calls. Web pages make this Ajax calls to retrieve small amount of data from server without the need for reloading the page. Okay. Those that is what is Ajax calls where the pages will not load and for small information pages don't have to load to get the information from the server rather with the help of this ajax calls they will run in the background when you perform operation and they will contact the server and get the information for you these are ajax calls and ajax activities i gave you the examples of ajax calls right here when i click on this alert is coming without the page getting reloaded when i click on this button these options the three options like a uh, facebook flip or gmail are coming without the need for loading the page Okay, these are nothing but in the background, these Ajax calls are happening for this to happen. Okay, so these are related to JavaScript and all those stuff. Okay, anyhow, Selenium WebDriver handles Ajax calls using waiting mechanism. Okay, in case of Ajax calls, you know, you already know that when you when you perform some operations on this page, right? Okay, in a particular element, first Selenium will wait until this particular page loads. Initially, when you open this application URL, right, the page will load until the page loads. The Selenium will not perform any operations on any element on this web page. Okay. After the page loads only, it will perform. So Selenium is by default waiting for these elements to be displayed on the page once the page loads. Okay. Till page is loading, it will wait. Okay. Once the page loads, it will perform the actions. But in this case, to get, get this element, the page is not load, loading. Then how then? The Selenium is not going to wait for these elements, right? Because of this Ajax calls. So in this case of Ajax calls, since Selenium is not waiting, anywhere okay we have page is not loading so selenium cannot wait so what happens if this alert comes with a delay there's a possibility that okay alert may come with a delay after you click on this button ajax call is made and selenium is not going to wait for this alert to be displayed by default right and uh, if you try to perform some operations on the alert which is not yet displayed on the page with the help of selenium since selenium is not waiting there's a possibility of an exception coming 
Similarly here, after I click on this button, Ajax call is going on and these options are coming with a delay, you see. Ajax call is happening and these options are not immediately coming. But Selenium is not going to wait for these elements. So we have to explicitly wait for them. We have to wait for them. With the help of Selenium, we have to wait. After performing any Ajax related operations, it's better that we wait for these elements because Selenium is not going to wait by default like the page loading and all. It's not going to wait because in this case of Ajax calls, without the page getting loaded, the Ajax calls are being happening in the background and inform new information is coming, which may come with a delay and the script may fail because Selenium is not going to wait by default for these uh, elements because of the Ajax calls which are happening without the page being loaded. Hope you got it, right? So how to handle them? How to handle this Ajax call so that uh, uh, the exceptions will not come? Here, waiting is a problem. Selenium is not able, to, it will not wait, okay? So for that to happen, to handle the Ajax calls, we have to implement this waiting mechanism in Selenium with the help of implicit wait, explicit wait. Under explicit wait, we have normal wait and advanced wait like a fluent wait. A any of these weights we have to use to handle these Ajax calls because here by default, Selenium is not going to wait, right? The page is not loading, so Selenium is not going to wait. Instead, we have to implement these waiting mechanisms and we have to wait for that particular alert to be displayed before we perform some operation on the alert. We have to wait for that options that are coming, okay? So that Selenium, uh, you know, we have to implement that waiting mechanism there in simple words, okay? Otherwise, Ajax calls will happen and Selenium, by the time those options come, if the options come with a delay, right? Selenium will try to perform operation way before and options are not there, so it will fail the test, okay? It will not wait. Selenium by default doesn't wait. We have to implement the waiting mechanism in case of Ajax calls to handle the Ajax calls. So hope guys you understood uh, what exactly are these Ajax calls and how to handle them with the help of this waiting mechanism. So I gave all these examples in the previous session. So I'm not covering that again, like how to use implicit wait, explicit wait, fluent wait to implement the waiting mechanism to handle the Ajax calls. Already I covered as part of the previous sessions. Okay. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye-bye.